and holding down. So you're really curling in through your core, holding down, squeezing your elbows, breathing deeply. Very important to stretch your neck muscles. Neck muscles can create tension in your shoulders, wrists and elbows. So if you are feeling it in those areas, maybe work a little bit more on your neck area. Breathing deeply, coming from straight on to right side. So head comes to the side, place your hand down, flex your wrist, shoulders down, ribs in, and you can move your head a little bit to feel maybe more or less tension. You can reach your arm out a little bit. You might pull it, go down your arm, bring it forward or back. You get to choose that type of play. Breathing deeply. So we're going to do the other side. Pressing down, flex wrist. Okay, and breathing. The tension can be numb or some depending how you feel. Relax your shoulders always down, core is always supporting. Remember you could nod a little bit or move your arm, even rotate. That can allow for more options to feel certain areas of tension. It's the simple things that make up our ability to stretch. So arms up and we're going to reach to the side. Arms up and reach to the side. At the moment, there's a little bit of building on where I'm located, so you'll hear a little bit of noise. But one of the things I really find important is to work with environments. So, unfortunately, it's all day long. So, let's do a back way. So, you are going to round your back here, and you're going to curl down. And you're going to lift up through a curl, and round your back here, and curl down. Okay, let's come further down to your mat. So you could have done all that standing. If not, grab your mat if you don't have one and you were just on the floor, it might be a little more comfortable. And we're gonna go into a glute bridge. So you're gonna place your heels down here and you're gonna lift up, okay? Pushing through your heels to activate the glutes. And the core is gonna stay active through the whole method. You can bring your arms up into a ballerina function to really work on the core, and you're doing upper, middle, lower back, and then lower, middle, upper back, up, okay? So really breathing deeply here. Keep working on moving firmly. So core side shifts from here. You are bringing your legs over to one side, and then coming up and bringing the legs over to the other, twisting your head and opposite side, okay? so. Your legs go one way as your head goes the other way. This does require a little bit of core here. So with that core, you might need to be mindful as you do that. So core rollover. So you're going to be here in a roll over. Touch or not touch. Come back and then roll over. Touch or not touch. So... You're rolling over here and then coming back to the neutral. Rolling over, not touching perhaps, coming back to the neutral. Really working the deep core here as you do it. A nice stretch for the back as well. Okay, so I'm just going to come a little closer. So you can see my core is active here as I do it. Squeezing just strongly through the core, lifting up. So, hello Jesus, how are you? You want to move out of the way? Or you want pats, huh? Mm. My friend's cat. So up and down. So you've got your upper, middle, lower back, lower, upper, middle back. Okay, the core side shifts. So the core is coming and my head will be this way. And then the core is going the other way. You don't have to go so deep here. What you could do is from here, just go a little way, and then from here, just go a little way. So you get to choose your definition of movement. I'm not in your body. So you have to be very attentive to it and make sure you realize that it's your body you're working, not a destination or a pose. So the core rollovers, you can probably see the core a little bit better. 
straight. So lifting here, rolling over here, and coming back here. Now, if you can't go all the way, put your hands down, lift up, and come down. So it's totally up to you what level you do. And the thing is that it's about your body. So if you're trying to do it for another body, it's never going to feel a good. All movement is about a feel and fitness from the inside. The reason we often get injured, taking a small rest, just stretch out whatever you need. The reason we get often injured is because we're going to a destination that doesn't adhere to what we feel is possible or what our body aligns to. So of course we need to challenge ourselves, but we need to challenge ourselves in a mindful approach, understanding that we are all different and our ability to get to different places and goals is going to be different to everyone, but it is possible when we listen and do it intuitively. So from here, you're gonna come down and from here, we're going to lift up, okay? And you're gonna lift up and you're gonna bring your arm back and coming through. You're gonna lift up, bring your arm back, and coming through. So you're gonna have a nice, strong arm um, posture movement here. Lifting up and coming back. Okay, your posture is really working. So as you do it, you can also do one side at a time, or you can do both sides, okay? So lifting up and around. So Hopefully you can see my shoulders a little bit here. Lifting up and around and back. Up and around and back. So I'm really working. It's almost like a back extension, but it's unilateral. So one side. So coming in. So inhale up and exhale, child's pose. So. And then coming back into a sphinx, inhale and exhale, child's pose. Okay, so really working on opening your back a little bit, rounding through, and then coming back and resting. Take it to your level. This should feel really, really good. So from here, we're gonna take both arms, and we're gonna come back and forward, back, and forward and what you'll see here is the muscles in the shoulder are really really working okay so it's all these simple movements here that create a great posture a great strong back to be able to support our sitting and our standing we don't need equipment necessarily to do that and they should be feeling super super spicy by that okay so, you're going to have one arm to the side and one arm straight, and you're going to lift. Then you're going to swap over one arm to the side and one arm straight. So, if I was to go this way, put your legs here, and the arm that's out to the side is the leg that lifts, then you swap over. And I'm really pulling my shoulders down my spine. Okay? As you do that, what you may also find, take a rest for a moment, maybe round your back and open it. You will get a conversation with your body. What side is harder? What side is easier? Flexibility and strength. And then you also understand perhaps why in some exercises you actually struggle um, to feel equal or you might get sore on one side. So unilateral work is fantastic to make us feel and breathe. And remember to stretch off as you need, okay? So let's do the single arm lifts again. Now this time, let's do it one arm. So you're lifting up and back and down. Up and back and down. You're still keeping your shoulders even and down. I know I'm diagonal, so it's a little bit hard to see that. But you're still keeping your shoulders even as you do that. And you're working your front and back core, so your legs are long, okay? Your legs never stay non-active. They are always working, your glutes are working. And then your shoulders are working and your stomach is working to support you. Everything is working. And your breath. Six seconds, you've got this. 
It's probably a little bit harder when you're doing single movements here. And so again, inhale up, exhale. Rounding, inhale, and exhale. Now a great way to test your mind is when you have noises like I do right now. Are you using them as an excuse to not work out or to say that they're distracting you? Are you using them as a way to train your brain? So a way to train your brain is to work. So this time lift your legs up and I want you to close your legs, open your legs and bring your arms back round as they close and open. A great way to train your brain if you're not a meditator is to work with everyday situations. So everyday situations, this is the movement, means that you learn to ignore things that you cannot change. You change you instead of knowing that you can't change the environment and complain. And that's a great way to start a meditative process to be able to be more aware of yourself. So one arm out to the side, one arm front, lifting the leg that's out to the side and up, swapping over. The other leg that's on the ground still needs to be super active. Head is in neutral position. So we learn to understand that there are a lot of tools and techniques like meditation, taking breath time, that we can incorporate in our life, but sometimes we get busy. Rest for 30 seconds, stretch out, maybe windscreen wipe your legs. And taking the time to understand things like Oh, there's a noise. Do I choose to be annoyed or not? Or do I choose to let it go and focus on what I'm doing? He's a great way to train your brain. Oh, I'm in a traffic jam. Do I choose to be annoyed? Or do I choose to maybe listen to some music or something that I haven't had a chance to do or breathe? These are ways to train our mind without taking more time when we don't have enough time already. 